praise to the most high. This is spiritual warfare. That's what it means by being born again, to yeah. transform and renew your mind. We have to subdue what we think and lean on the word of God. Because Christ, how we've been doing it because we've been running See the dead end all the day. Kingdom day. Hand. Scattered us abroad and took from our I land. So my enemies and no, we not friends. Trying to live peaceable with all men. Lord, because again, we are here to teach First you. Not the Spanish and Native American. All y'all standing up on our gate over here. We talking specifically to you. The remnant was a little boy, became a real man. First Kings 2 and 2 to witness. Can't you see I'm by this business? I'll understand it comes from this Bible, right? So, when it says that precept must be upon precept, the, the Bible answer itself is going to give you the answer. First John 5 and 3 show our love. All praises to God be above. Show mercy, he could have shared love. every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. God. So, so we are out here giving you the word of God, which is going to nourish your spirit above all people. We are the greatest nation that walks the earth. God is saying we are above everyone that walks the earth right now. Guess what? We are the greatest nation that walks the earth. In my sword and my shield, and we're ready for the fight. Our people say we can't be perfect. We got our own to make. We are the greatest nation that walks the earth. In Spanish, the Native American Indians are showing them the love of God. Slow, 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 family. What your name is? What's your name, fam? What's your name? What's your name? All right, we the children of Israel. We are your teacher. We pay to our people. So if I ask you your nationality, what you gonna say? Be honest with me. We want the truth. What's your nationality is according to the Bible? It's safe to say you don't know, right? Right? What's your nationality? You don't, you don't really know. What's your nationality according to the Bible? Yeah, what, what, what you say, fam? Muslim. Muslim? Yeah. All right. That's not a nationality. But listen to the kids. Isaiah 1 and verse 3. Y'all check this out. Because we are here teaching our people who they are according to the Bible. That's and right. we have to come back to the law, statutes, and commandments to get the kingdom that the soldier is talking about. Read that. The book of Isaiah, chapter 1, verse 3. Read, Read it out. The ox knoweth his owner. Who knows his owner? The ox knoweth his owner. Read. And the ass his master's crib. Read. But Israel. But who? But Israel. But who? But Israel. Do Read. not know. But Israel don't know. So when you say you don't know your nationality, y'all was fulfilling Bible prophecy. That's right. You understand that? So read that from the top again. The book of Isaiah, chapter 1, verse 3. Read. The ox knows this owner. The uh, ox. A uh, ox know who his owner is. In other words, the ox know who his God is, right? Read. And the ass, his master's crib. And the dumb ass, he know where his homeland is at. You understand that? But the children of Israel, we don't know who our God is. We don't even know where our homeland is at. You understand that? Get Isaiah 65, verse 15. Bring it out. We're going to get to the bottom of it. What happened to us? Why we don't know these things? Right? This day right here, and we're going to explain some things to you. Isaiah 65, verse 15. Bring it out. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 65, verse 15. Read it up. And ye shall leave your name for a curse. So you, 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 you shall leave your name for a curse. You understand that? What curse is talking about? What curse is talking about? Why we left, we left our name for a curse? What curse is talking about? First of all, our bad thing. Curse is a bad thing. So we left our name for a curse. We're going to get into the curses that we left our name for. Get Deuteronomy 28. Let's see what happened to the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and the Native Americans. Read Deuteronomy 28. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Read. But it shall come to pass. It's going to come to pass, meaning it's going to happen. Read. If thou were not hawking unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If you were not hawking, meaning that we don't listen to our God, Read. To observe, to do all his commandments. To observe and to do all the commandments. Read. And his statutes. And his statutes. Which I command thee this day. So our God commanded us to do something. That's right. You, you got a father, right? You got a father, right? So if your father give you a commandment, like you coming home from school, and he say, listen, I want y'all to look, clean your room up, and then y'all go outside and play. Right? So if you don't if you don't clean your room up when your father come home, what's gonna happen to y'all? Oh, you're gonna get a whooping. That's safe to say, right? 
So read that from the top again. But it shall come to pass. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So if you don't listen because the Most High God, that is our Father. So if you don't listen to the Father, read. To observe, to do all his commandments. To do his commandments, read. And his statutes. And his statutes. Which I command thee this day. What's going to happen? That all these curses shall come upon thee you see and that? overtake thee. We just read that in Isaiah 65, 15. We left our name for a curse. That's right. That's what we're talking about. So right here it said, we don't hearken to the commandments of God. All these curses was going to come upon us and overtake us. Jump down to verse 47. Verse 47. Read. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness. So we left our name for a curse because we don't serve the Lord, the one true God, with joyfulness. Read. And with gladness of heart. And with gladness of heart. For the abundance of all things. For the abundance of all things. Y'all understand where we're going at with this? So this Bible is talking to you. You are Israelite according to the Bible. That's right. right. That's what we're trying to tell y'all. Read, jump to verse 68. Verse 68. Verse so guess what? We came over. How we came over here to this land? How, how we got to this land? By ships. What, what you say? By ships. You will say the same thing, right? Did y'all know that's Bible prophecy? Did y'all know slavery was written in the Bible? Did you know this Bible is our history book? Teach! We're going to read it. Watch this here. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. The Lord shall bring us into Egypt again. Read. With ship. With what? With ship. With what? With ship. How we got to America, fam? On slave ships, right? Read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee. But just like Moses was telling us, right, read. Thou shalt see it no more again. We wasn't going to see our homeland no more again. So I'm going to ask you men another question. Where we from? What's our homeland? Yeah. You don't know? Africa? What part? Uh, All right. Well, we're going to read it to you. We're going to read it to you. Let's get it. Galatians 4, verse 26. Bring it out. We from Africa, but guess what? We from Jerusalem. That's right. You understand that? That's that's what that's part of Africa we from. Read. The book of Galatians, chapter 4, verse 26. Bring it out. But Jerusalem. But what? But Jerusalem. But what? But Jerusalem. But Jerusalem free. Which is above is free. Jerusalem is above and free. Which is the mother of us all. It's the mother of the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's right. right. You understand that? Bro, right. We are children of God, but guess what? Right. We're not living like it. Why? Because we're not keeping the commandments of God. Right. Right. Deuteronomy 7 and verse 6. Bring Let it me out. show you how God feel about you. Let me show you how God feel about you. Read Deuteronomy 7 and verse 6. The book of Bring Deuteronomy, out. chapter 7, verse 6. Read it out. For thou art a holy people. You. You, you, we, we are holy people unto the Lord thy God. Right. Read. The Lord thy God has chosen thee. The God chose us, the blacks, Hispanics, and the Native Americans. Read. Right. To be a special people. To be what? To be a special people. To be what? To be a special people. To be a special people. That's right. Read. Unto himself. Unto himself. But guess what, fam? We not living like it. Right. Why are we not living like it? Why? Get 2 Maccabees 7 verse what? 38, 32. 32, you get that? 2 Maccabees 7 verse 32. There's a reason why. What that reason why? What? When we, when we read earlier. Because curses was going to come upon us. That's right. Read. The book of Maccabees, 2 Maccabees chapter 7 verse 32. Read. Read. For we suffer. We what? For we suffer. We what? For we suffer. We suffering why? Because of our sins. We suffering because of our sins. Right. Well, so what sin? What sin, fam? What sin? Doing the wrong thing. Doing the wrong thing. What sin? Doing the wrong thing. What sin? Doing the wrong thing. So let's read it out. Our Bible. Our Bring it out. Book. Read that. The book of First John, chapter three, verse four. Read. Whosoever committed sin. So whoever commits sin, read. Transgresses also the law. So if you commit sin, you transgress the law. That's read. Right. For sin is the transgression of the law. So That's sin right. is breaking God's law. So why are we suffering? Because we break God's law. Right. Y'all understand that? So we're going to get into some commandments that you young men might not know. 
So that's why we out here to explain some of these things to y'all. Right? Let's go in 1 Corinthians 11. First Corinthians 11. Let's get the head covered. You got what I want? So you understand you're an Israelite, right? You understand that? You ain't no African American. You're an Israelite. You understand you're an Israelite? All right, you understand you're an Israelite? So if you go to uh, fill out an application, you understand you might see other on there, but guess what? We're in our captivity, so we're going to check black man. But that, that's not who we are. We got to obey the laws of the land. You understand that? Right. But you know you're an Israelite according to the Bible. That's yes, right. Right. Read the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 11, verse 3. Read. Read. But I will have you know Read. that the head of every man is Christ. So who is man head, fam? Who the, who the head of man? Read it from the top again. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. The head of every man is who? Christ. The head of every man is who? The head of us is Christ, right? Read. And the head of the woman is the man. Who's the head of the woman? Us. Huh? Us. The man, right? The man. Read. And the head of Christ is God. And the head of Christ is God. Y'all understand the order. Right? We got God, we got Christ, we got man, and we got the woman. Y'all understand that? Read. Every man pray it. Every man doing what? Every man praying. Every man praying, read. Or prophesying. Or prophesying. Having his head covered. Having his head covered, read. Dishonoring his head. What that's talking about, fam? What that, read it again. That's all there. Yeah. Read it again. Every man praying or prophesying. Having his head covered. Dishonoring his head. What that saying, fam? You, you smart. What that saying? Uh, basically saying. We don't listen, you know what I'm saying, then you know what I'm saying, we gotta get away from Christ. Okay, what's that saying, fam? I'm gonna help you out. While we prophesying now, you're reading the Bible, going in, in, in our history book, if you have a hat on your head, you dishonoring your head. That's right. That's right. You understand that? So if you love the most high God, what you gonna do? Exactly. So what you gonna do? You gonna take it off while we reading the Bible? All praise to the most high. What you want to do, fam? You got to all pray it to the more side. Take it, take it off. That's what you got to do. What you going to do, fam? You going to take it off or what? All pray it to the most high. All pray it to the most high. So that's a, that's a sign of repentance. You understand that? That's what we have to do. When we hear the commandments of God, we have to do them. You understand? So look. Would you look at all these men? Look at the men around you. Look at them. Look at their borders on their clothes. What they have? Um, let me help you out. Fringes. That's what these is. The Most High God commanded the children of Israel to wear fringes on their clothes. You understand? Let's get that up. Read. The book of Numbers, chapter 15, verse 38. Read. Speak unto the children of Israel. Speak to who? Speak unto the children of Israel. Speak to the children of Israel. That's us, fam. The Bible is talking to us. Read. And bid them. And do what? And bid them. That means command them. Read. That they make them fringes in the border of their garment. So we have to make us fringes in the border of us, our garment. Read. Throughout their generations. Throughout our generations. You understand? Long as we generate, long as we have kids, we have to put this on our clothes. Right. Read. Right. And that they put up on the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. And you have to put a, a, a ribbon of blue on top of it. Now, why we have to do that? Read. And it shall be unto you for a friend. Read. That you may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord and do them. You see that? That's the reason why we wear these fringes. That's right. To look upon them and remember the commandments of God. Right? right? Like when we read in the Bible, we don't supposed to have a, a, a hat on our head. Right. That's the commandment of God. Right. If you're walking to and fro, you understand, and you say you'll see an attractive sister. You understand? You don't supposed to get caught staring at the sister. You right. supposed to be like, oh, I can't hold out my sister. Because that's a law. That's right. a commandment. You understand that? Right. Let's go into something else. Uh, uh, you believe a God came for everybody? You, you believe that? You believe God came for everybody? You believe that also? Is that in the Bible? Is that in the Bible? That's in the Bible? God coming for everybody to save everybody? 
No. You don't know? Let's read that. The book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 24. Read it up. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Read that from the top again. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Read that from the top. I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So found. Explain that to me. Christ is only sent to who? He only sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Christ ain't coming for everybody. Right. I, I was telling me actually this here. What color is Christ? What? What? What that picture? What? What, what that image? It, what right here? Sure. Is this Christ? You think Christ a white man? You think Christ a white man? You think Christ a white man, fam? Guess what? Christ is a black man according to the Bible. That's right. But Christ is our forefather. Bring it out. We're going to give y'all a true image of Christ. We're Bring talking it about out. the Christ who coming back to save the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. That's right. right. He's not coming back to save everybody. Right. Right. Let's get that. Revelation. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 14. Read. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So his head and his hairs were white like wool. So look, as we going over this here, I want y'all to focus on this image right here. Right? Let's focus on this image right here. It says head and his hairs were white like wool. You got that, fam? Which one of those signs got white woolly hair? Which one? White woolly hair. Right. That one. Read. As white as snow. As white as snow because he had gray hair. Read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. So which one of those pictures have red eyes? Right? Notice y'all keep on purring at a certain one. Right? Read. And his feet like unto fine bread. And his feet like unto fine bread. What, what color is brass, fam? Brown. Brown. Right, so if you look at your feet, your feet gonna be the same color as your hand, your arm, and your face, right? So he's saying, read that again. And his feet like unto fine brass. And his feet like unto fine brass. Read. As if they burned in a furnace. As if they burned in a furnace. Hey, you ever seen burnt rice? What color it is? So, let me ask you a question. Which one of those is Christ according to the Bible? We're not saying that is Christ. Which one is closer to Christ in what we just read out the Bible? That one right there. That's right. So guess right. what? Christ is a black man. That's right. You understand that? That is not Christ. You understand, fam? And guess what? Hebrews 7 verse 14. Look it up. Where he from? Christ was a black man. Now we need to know where he from. Because he only said he coming back for the children of Israel. That's right. Right? That's right. Let's get that. Read. The book of Hebrews, chapter 7, verse 14. Where Read. it is evident. So it is evident that we, they got evidence. Right? Read. That our Lord sprang out of Judah. Sprang out of what? That our Lord sprang out of Judah. So Christ came from the tribe of Judah. That's right. Come right here, fam. Come right here. Come right here. Come right here. Come right here. You see this here? Judah. The so-called American blacks. That's us, fam. That's right. right. Christ is our forefather. That's he right. came from the tribe of Judah. Right. That's right. So guess what? The Jews are black. That's right. That's right. Let's get that. Jeremiah 14, verse 2. Bring it out. So we read in the Bible, Christ is a black man. He's from the tribe of Judah. You understand? He only coming back for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's right. right. So read Jeremiah 14, and verse 2. The book Bring of Jeremiah, up. chapter 14, verse 2. Bring it out. Judah morning. Who morning? Judah morning. Judah morning because our leaders are weak. T.D. Jakes, Creflo Dollar. Those are weak leaders. We and the gates they are language. We they are black. They are what? They are black. They are what? They are black. Joshua six. They are what? They are black. They are what? They are black. They 
all black, the Jews all black. That's right. That's us, fam. Bring it up. That's us. But what we got to do? What we have to do? We have to repent. Let's get it. Acts 3, verse 19. Bring it up. We have to repent. We have to repent. We have to stop the, uh, the lies we learned over here in this land. And we have to come back to our one true God. You understand that? Let's get it. Acts 3, verse 19. The book of Acts, chapter 3, verse 19. We repent. Do what? Repent. Do what? Repent. We have to repent. Read. You thereof and be converted. So let me ask you this here, fam. How do we repent? How do we repent? Ask God for forgiveness, right? That's a good answer. What you say? What? Ask God for Ask God for forgiveness. All right, that's a good answer. Let's get Sirach 21 verse 1. Let's get that. Sirach 21 verse 1. Right? Because the Bible is our God. The Bible is our history. But we don't have to lean on our own understanding. All we have to do is open the book up and read. That's all we have to do. Read the book of Sirach, chapter 21, verse 1. Read up. My son. My son, because guess what? You are the sons of God. Right. You are a son of God. You are a son of God. You are a son of God. Read. Has thou sinned? Have you sinned? Yeah, we all committed sin. We all did it because we were all sometimes foolish. That's right. right. You understand that? Read. Do so no more. Stop it. Stop it. If you're in the midst of sin, stop. Right. You understand that? Do so no more. Read. Flee from sin. Flee from sin. Read. As from the face of a serpent. You see that? I'm going to ask you something. You'll get close to a snake? What you'll do? Stay back. You'll stay back. Safe to say you'll do the same whole thing. You'll play with a snake? That was the, that was the Bible telling us. Don't play with sin. Right. Right. Get away from it. You understand that? Read it from the top again. My son, has thou seen it? Read. Do so no more. Do so no more. Leave it alone. Read. But ask pardon for thy former sins. See that? Ask pardon for your former sins. Y'all said that. That was a good answer. Let's go to back to Acts 3 verse 19. The book of Acts chapter 3 verse 19. Yeah. Repent, do ye therefore, and be converted. So what convert us? So we read repent. Repent meaning what? Turn back to your God and stop sinning. Right. We read that. So now he's saying be converted. Be converted. What convert us? When we stop sinning, what gonna convert us? You got an answer? You got an answer? What convert us? What's gonna convert us? We, it, the, the scripture said repent, stop sinning, and be converted. So now we need to know, we know repent means to stop sinning and be converted. What convert us? God, he said God. What you say? Like changing, like changing the way we, like changing the way how we, you know, live our Speak lives. up, fam. We family. We speak change up. The, like, change the way, like how, like how we repeated our sins, like go down a different path or something, something like that. All right, all right. Uh, uh, that's good answers, but we're going to read it out of our history book. Right. Read. That's the book right. of Psalms, chapter 19, verse 7. Read it out. The law of the Lord is perfect. The laws of what? The law of the Lord is perfect. The laws of God is perfect. Read. Converting the soul. So guess what? When we start keeping the law, statutes, and commandments, that was going to convert us. That's That's right. Right. That's right. You understand that? So you have to stop sinning and start keeping the commandments of God, right. and that's what's going to convert us. That's right. Psalms 119, verse 9. Bring it up. So, because, hey, hey, bro, it's not hard. It's simple. we just been lied to. You understand? But truth springing out of the earth right now. The truth is this Bible. The truth is the law, statutes, and commandments. That's right. Read. The book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 9. Read. Well, what thou shall a young man cleanse his way? So that's the answer. That's the, that's the question. How could, how should a young man clean his ways? Right? Read. By taking heed thereto according to thy word. So you got to take heed to the word of God. That's right. Right. That's right. You got to take heed to the word of God. Right. Meaning right. when you hear this here, you got to meditate on this here, and you got to say, you know what? I'm going to come back to my heritage. I'm going to change, and I'm going to start applying the commandments of God. That's right. right. Jeremiah 17, verse 4. Yeah. Jeremiah 17, verse 4. Because guess what? The laws is our heritage. Right. Right. The most High God gave you that. 
Right. That's not for everybody. Right. That's your wisdom in the sight of these nations. Bring it out. Right. But when we not keeping the laws, they looking at us, they looking at us as African Americans. Right. Niggas, Hispanics, goons. Bring it you understand that? Read the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, verse 4. Bring it out. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thy heritage. So we discontinue from our heritage, fam. We, 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 I made a statement. I said the laws is our heritage. Let's get that. Let's show them what the heritage is. The laws is our heritage. We have to come back to that thing, bro. We have to come back. That's how we're going to clean our ways. That's how we're going to get back on top. That's how we're going to get the kingdom of heaven. That's right. By keeping the commandments of God. Right. Read. The book of Sirach, chapter 24, verse 23. Bring it up! All these things are the book of the covenant of the Most High God. Read. Even the law which Moses commanded for inheritance. You, you see that? You see what our heritage is? So, Queen's time, I'm going to see if you've been listening. What is our heritage? Uh, we, it, what, we just read it. What? Look, read Sirach 17 and 11, right? That's what I want? Right. Sirach, read Sirach. We're going to make it plain for y'all. Read Sirach 17 and 11. Listen up. Listen up. Because this is important, fam. This is important. Sirach 17 and 11. The book of Sirach, chapter 17, verse 11. Bring it out. Beside this, he gave them knowledge and the law of life for inheritance. Read that from the top again. Besides this, he gave them knowledge. He gave them knowledge. Read. And the law of life. And the laws of life. Read. For inheritance. So what is our heritage? The laws of life. The laws of life. The laws of life. So guess what? Proper 72. Proper, he gave us the laws of life. What make us live? What make us live? We're going to read it. The book of Proverbs, chapter 7, verse 2. Bring it out. Keep my commandments and live. Read it again. Keep my commandments and live. Keep the commandments of God and live. That's right. It's simple. When you're not keeping the commandments, guess what, bro? You, it, it, that's right. Because the wages of sin is what? Death. That's right. 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 So guess what you're going to do? What you're going to do? What you're going to do? Uh, don't that's your part. That's your friend, right? Don't Help him out. What you gonna do? Stop sinning, right? That's right. That's, right. that's your that's friend, right. right? What you gonna do? Help him out. You gonna stop sinning? Right. right. And do what? Keep the commandments. Right. That's, that's right. You wanna stop sinning, and you gonna keep the commandments of God. Right. right. Y'all got that. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter,
Twitter and podcast and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.